Yes, brother. Pushy. Why, you? Well... Aldwin? We heard the Dragon Wren shout from here. You defeated him? I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. I see. The dragon will lead you to Aldwin, but without the Jarl's help. Partanax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Sky, guard you. Hello. Talk to me again if you're bored. Tell me. Okay, got it. My men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? 
The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that, dragons or no dragons. You may have a point. I'm always surprised by how seriously the Nords take these things. Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. I'm telling you, Ulfric's oh my planning gosh. an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Rift oh my gosh. And Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. Okay, it's got it. Rift. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Yarl without summons. Do I know you? It's about time they turn their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Good. We still hold half of Skyrim despite everything the Empire could throw at us. I doubt the Empire has the stomach for much more bloodletting. Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Hello. Okay, got it. Done it. The men of violence are gathered here, in these halls, and I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Yes, yes. Which is why I allowed this violation of all our traditions. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim.
Yeah. Talk to me again if you're bored. So, Arn Gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. Were you? Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. If it were up to you, the Dragonborn would sit dreaming on this mountain, doing nothing. Delphi, we're not here to rehearse your grudge. The matter at hand is urgent. Aldrin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Aldrin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Uh, very well. You may enter. We all wait upon you, Dragonborn. Take your seat, and we can begin. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats, so we can begin. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos Hunter? That didn't take long. Diplomatic. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. 
You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I do. I'm glad we agree on this. Very well, Alfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legate, we represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to We're here to arrange a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, oh, this is outrageous. Goodness. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Elfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. What would the Empire want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that... traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. The rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. The Dragonborn has spoken, Tullius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk with good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Headsman's Axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the Lamb hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. 
And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Shores, bones, where will these demands end? I'm listening. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation this for your our butchery. This is All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? Well said. For once you'll actually pay for your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Edmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Melissa? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, come on. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes. I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains. How to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon. After your victory over Alduin, I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in this scroll. Od Avin, winged snow hunter.
there's one more thing we know about Parthenax. Parthenax, the dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. Gosh. Well, Brother. Okay, got it. Oops. Talk to me again if you're bored. Yes, brother. Well... We're ready, Dragonborn. Just say the word. As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands.
ahead and call this dragon of yours. We're ready. Oh yeah, you're gonna get beat up, aren't you? to meet you in battle was my undoing, Dovahkiin. I salute your... Hmm... low cunning in devising such a Gramin Dol stratagem. Ruubonar! You went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this... humiliating position. In Sir Alduin, hmm? no doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. Renik Vaza, an apt phrase. Alduin, Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thorn for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship whether his Thuum was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Mae, none were yet ready to openly defy him. Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesur. The souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovereign Guard is at Skuldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Mindoran pa ok midoven avarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. To Ulost Ofan Hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, 
You will allow me to go free? Ah, well. Hmm. Croesus. There is one detail about Skaldafin I neglected to mention. Only this. You have the Thurm of a Dova, but without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafin. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. Indeed, or in Britro. I cannot leave here until you defeat Alduin, which you cannot do without my help. You have reconsidered my offer, hmm? Onikan Kron? You will release me, Roland, if in return I promise to take you to Skaldafen and stop helping Alduin? Onikan Korav Gain Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. And you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. Free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. Incredible. Ah. Uh... Sir, you have no idea how long I have waited for such an opportunity. I would be most appreciative if you would permit me to perform some, uh, tests on you, purely in the interests of the advancement of knowledge. Be gone, mage. Do not test my promise to the Dovahkiin. I assure you, you will not even notice me. Most of them are hardly painful at all to a large dragon such as yourself. Arngar. Very bad idea, even for you. Surely you wouldn't miss a few scales, or a small amount of blood. To me, what are you doing back there? <laughs> I can't believe that worked. You sure about that? You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch him in there? Your funeral. Someone else is gonna have to help you get him back in there again. Get ready to open the trap. This seems like a really bad idea to me. Carry on, soldier. This is all part of the Dragonborn's plan. Was nu? Die nicht ein Rufe erst war. Saran Uth, I await your command as promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? Zuk Brit Uth, I warn you, once you've flown the skies of Kaisal, your envy of the Dove will only increase. 
Amativ. Mubo Kotin Stinselok. You're either the greatest person I've ever met, or the biggest fool. May Kinneret guard you while you pass through her realm. This is as far as I can take you. Grief both Akrin. I will look for your return. Or Alduin's. This is the last one. You didn't expect me to follow you all the way here, did you? Since it's the last part of the main quest, you can take your time or you can go straight to the Sovngarde heroes. What do you want to do? Okay, got it. You've traveled, your trials long, to taste Sovereign God's sweet delights. At long last, Alduin's doom is now ours to seal. Just speak the word, and with high hearts, we'll hasten forth to smite the worm. Me for me must peace. ever make way for the clash of oh, steel. Comrade, Song of battle. let us counsel take before battle is blindly joined. Alduin's mist is more than a snare. Its shadowy gloom is his shield and cloak. But with four voices joined, our valor combined, we can blast the mist and bring him to battle. Feldir speaks wisdom. The World Eater, coward, fears you, Dragonborn. We must drive away his mist, shouting together, and then unsheath our blades in desperate battle with our black winged foe. To battle, my... Well... We'll live in song, if not in soul. At Sovngarde's gates. Shore upon this day. Defeat Alduin, 
Not many people would have killed Alduin doing this main quest. You're so cool. But your fate lies elsewhere. When you have completed your count of days, I may welcome you again. Glad friendship. Of course I do. Dumb idiot. You can't eat it even if I give it to you. This line of choice won't come up again. I bet you're gonna reload the previous save. No, I bet mine all.
Tell me. Let's go. Yes, brother. Six. What's up? Well... When you're ready to rejoin the living, just bid me so, and I will send you back. Return now to Nurm, with this rich boon from shore, my lord. A shout to bring a hero from Sovngarde in your hour of need. for all others, and has always been. Happy? No, I am not happy. Zeh Mahi lost Ondul Bormahu. Alduin was once the crown of our father Akatosh's creation. You did what was necessary. Alduin had flown far from the path of right action in his Pachlok, in the arrogance of his power. But I cannot celebrate his fall. Zutiraz Achuchma. He was my brother once. This world will never be the same. saw more clearly than I, certainly more clearly than Alduin, Roch Funta Korav. Perhaps now you have some insight into the forces that shape the Venesetid, the currents of time. Perhaps you begin to see the world as a Dover. But I forget myself. Crosus, Solos Midfadon, Melancholy is an easy trap for a Dover to fall into. You have won a mighty victory, 
Sahroch Kondra. One that will echo through all the ages of this world for those who have eyes to see. Savor your triumph, Dovakin. This is not the last of what you will write upon the currents of time. I doubt many will wish to exchange Alduin's lordship for the tyranny of Parthenax's way of the voice. As for myself, you've proven your mastery twice over, Thuri Dovakin. I gladly acknowledge the power of your Thum. Zu Odaving. Call me when you have need, and I will come if I can. Hey! Let's go. Drem your look. Greetings. The blades are wise not to trust me. Only Khan Miov. I would not trust another Dova. Dov Walan Farel. We were made to dominate. The will to power is in our blood. You feel it in yourself, do you not? I can be trusted. I know this. But they do not. Only Khan Niov Dova. It is always wise to mistrust a Dova. I have overcome my nature only through meditation and long study of the way of the voice. No day goes by where I am not tempted to return to my inborn nature. Zimgrif Horvut. Say, Suyek. What is better, to be born good or to overcome your evil nature through great effort? Look, Thum. Hey!
Okay, got it. Gosh. Absolutely.
Yes, brother. Hoshi. Yes. Let's go. 